we are thrilled to present the second annual Fania Gottesfeld Heller Award for Excellence in Holocaust Education to William Mason. Thank you, Liz. The last thing you want to do is give a teacher an opportunity to speak. <laughs> the award that was just presented is called the Fania Gottesfeld Heller Award for Excellence in Holocaust Education. But as far as I'm concerned, the most important part of that phrase is Fania Gottesfeld Heller. I want to thank the Museum of Jewish Heritage for this incredible honor. I want to thank my family for being here tonight, as well as my coworkers. It's deeply appreciated. And I think back you know, to where the Holocaust journey starts. I was talking to Amanda earlier, you know, how do teachers get involved in Holocaust? And I was thinking back to when I was a student in Edward R. Murrow High School back in 1979. I had taken a class called the Holocaust. And I guess Mr. Harvey Schneider really began this journey for me. Little did I think some 40 years later, I would now be teaching that class. So it's amazing the path our lives take. Um, this is a perfect night, and the only thing missing, as I said, is Fania. When I asked permission to start a Holocaust class at Bishop Lachlan, the one thing I said really had to be a part of it was a trip to the museum and a chance to meet with a survivor. And it was just around the same time that Fania had decided that she wanted to do this outreach program of inviting students to come to the museum here and after watching her movie, do a question and answer with her. So when we decided to do this, the museum sent me Fania's video, which was called Teenage Witness to Fania Heller Story. And as every good teacher knows, always watch something first before you show it to the children, or disaster will ensue. And in watching this video, I was stunned by this montage of photographs of Fania with students in a Lachlan uniform. I had no idea that there was a connection between our schools and her. And I took a screenshot of that picture and brought it into our assistant principal and asked her, what, who, where, why? And she said, well, we used to have an English teacher who taught night. And as part of the program, they would have a survivor come in. And the survivor was Fania. And when I showed the DVD to my class, they instantly saw that scene and their eyes lit up that we actually had a connection with this person. So it made it even more special when we did this. So we went to meet Fania. Now, last year's recipient of this award was able to bring some of her students here to speak on her behalf. But this is a senior elective in our school. So all of our students have gone off to college and none of them were available today. So I thought I'd fill in for them. And in preparation for coming to the museum, the students had spent much time in class watching videotaped testimonies of survivors. And they heard the various experiences and the various trials and tribulations that they went through. So when they knew they had an opportunity to meet one, it was going to be a real interesting experience. So after lunch, we all gathered in the room and Fania came in, and there was complete dead silence. The children were in absolute awe just being in her presence. Um, if you knew Fania, you know what I'm talking about. Just being in her presence was an incredible experience. And it was started off very slowly. The students didn't know how to approach her. So she, of course, broke the ice by saying, oh, Lachlan, nice to see you again. She had remembered her day is coming to the school, and that broke it wide open. Uh, by the time we were finished, they were posing for selfies. Um, Fania asked permission to put their picture on her Facebook page, which totally blew the students away, that someone would have a Facebook page like that. And um, she was all over Instagram, Snapchat, you name it, she was on it that day. And the love affair with the students and her really took hold. When we got back to school, and in fact on the bus ride home, the students just could not stop talking about the experience they had had and how they considered her a friend at this point, which was a truly, truly moving experience. And last year, we again took a trip here and did the same thing. 
but this time Fania asked us to prepare the questions because sometimes the students spoke kind of low. So I got to play master of ceremonies and I had a stack of index cards reading questions to her and it was just amazing. There was no question she wouldn't field. Um, high school students have no shame. They will ask you anything. And she was prepared to answer anything. And the bond was just amazing. So it's nice to know that her work will live on with all who heard her message. It was a true mitzvah. Her work continues forever. Uh, we're going to be here next week. My class is making its trip, but it, it just won't be the same. We'll come in through the front door. We'll see Fania's face as we walk in. They will have seen her movie. Even though they won't get to meet her, we're going to continue to show the film. And it's going to be something that's going to really capture. When this year came and Fania had passed away, uh, she and I had a mutual friend. And when he found out that she had died, he texted me that night. And it was just two words, Fania's gone. And it was really not much we could say at that point. Um, the world got a little bit darker when she left. And again, those of you who knew her understand what I'm saying. So, in her name, in her memory, I accept this incredibly deep honor. I thank you. I thank the museum. And Fania, God bless.